when I am explaining the definition. Okay, fine. Now, direction of x axis is what? I cap. Direction of y axis is j cap. Direction of z axis is a cap. Okay, fine. Now, how to find this OP vector? What is vector? Distance as well as direction. Distance as well as direction. Now, x axis. What is x axis distance? X. What is direction of x axis? I So, x axis. Now, what is y axis distance? Y. What is direction of y axis? J. Plus y, j cap. Plus z axis direction, k. And the distance is z. Anybody doubt? So, OP vector equal to xi plus yj cap plus zk cap. This x comma y comma z are called scalar components. Are called scalar components. Scalar components. Scalar components. And xi cap, maybe one more question they will ask. xi cap comma yj cap comma zk cap are called vector components. Are called vector components. Clear to you what is scalar components, what, what is vector components. For example, suppose if I take OP vector equal to 2i uh, plus 3j and plus 6k. Okay, fine. Now, what is scalar components? Scalar components is 2, 3, 6. Vector components. What is vector components? 2i cap. Not only i cap. 2i cap. Then, 3j cap. Then, Okay, fine. So that is called scalar components and vector components. Now tell me about this uh, uh, magnitude. Right now I told you how to find the magnitude. What is magnitude? Distance. That is OP vector. With distance. Distance between OP. That is denoted by R. That is denoted by R. Now you know how to find the distance between two points. How to find the distance between two points? That is R equal to under root of that is magnitude of OP vector equal to under root of what is it? X minus 0 power whole square plus Y minus 0 power whole square or plus Z minus C. That is X square plus Y square plus Z square. That is C. Uh, that is magnitude of OP. X square matter of coefficient of I square, coefficient of J square plus coefficient of K square. What is magnitude of this OP? 4 plus under root of 4 plus 9 plus 3 Are you clear how to find the distance? Clear? So that is called the magnitude. Now I will explain what is the direction cosine. Direction cosines. See one of the most important parts I am explaining here. Now see we have seen three axes. That is x axis and y axis and z axis. We have taken the point x, y, z here. Now join this whatever. The same. This is r. Am I correct? Now see this, like this. Okay, fine. X axis, y axis, z axis. And uh, this is OP line. You treat this as OP line. Keep it this. Now you rotate this anti-clockwise direction. Why we are using anti-clockwise direction? Already I explained, I think so. Why we are using always anti-clockwise direction? Yeah. Suppose if you start clockwise direction first quadrant, then immediately you will get a fourth quadrant. So this is second quadrant, that's why we always take which direction? And now see, I am rotating, see this is OP vector, okay fine. Now I am rotating this in anti-clockwise direction, so definitely it will cross x-axis, then y-axis, then z-axis. Now see, let OP line makes an angle, let OP line, OP vector understood, OP vector makes an angle, makes an angle. Alpha comma beta comma gamma. Can you imagine that is x axis ke saath ye jo angle hai? Understood. See understood I am saying this is alpha. And y axis ke saath beta. And z axis ke saath gamma. Okay like this. Okay. Now if OP line makes an angle x ka alpha comma beta comma gamma with OX comma OX comma OY comma OZ axis respectively. Uh, respectively, <coughs> this alpha comma beta, this alpha comma beta comma gamma are called direction angles. Okay, what they? Direction angles. Are called direction angles. And it's a cosine value. What is cosine? What is cosine? Cosine means? Huh? 
What is cosine? Cos. Cos value. Cosine means cos. I am asking what is cosine? Cos value. That is cos. cos. So and its and its cosine value and its cosine values. That is cos alpha, comma cos beta, cos alpha, comma cos beta, comma cos gamma are called. Okay, what is the end? Direction cosines are called what? Direction cosines. Are you clear what I am saying? So what is the direction cosines? See suppose alpha given 45 degree. Okay, beta given uh, 135 degree. For example, I am saying. And gamma given at 60 degree. Find the direction cosines. That is what my question. Okay. So means what? Cos 45. Cos 45 is how much? 1 by 2. Cos 135. Cos 90 plus 45. Minus sign 45. So minus sign 45. Minus 1 by 2. And what about the cos 60? 1 by 2. Attention, Yape. So that is direction for signs here. We are getting cos alpha is 1 by root 2. And cos beta is minus 1 by root 2. And cos gamma is 1 by root 2. Clear to you how to find the direction for signs. And it is denoted by, it is, it is, Denoted by, denoted by L comma M comma N. So that is L equal to cos alpha. We, we are giving name. Okay, M equal to cos beta. And N equal to cos alpha. Clear? Clear? So anyhow, see, try to understand this thing. This is a basic. This is a basic. See, completely better on 3D is actually. If you know vector thoroughly, only 4 marks or 6 marks. Marks is, it doesn't matter, but it is related to another topic, 3D. If you know vector, then only you can touch another topic. So be careful, everyone. Try to understand basic things. Okay? But start right. Now, what is it? What is, see, I am joining this OP with the y axis. Okay? The circle is beta. The circle is beta. beta. Just an example I am asking. What is cos beta? What is cos beta? What is cos beta? This is right angle triangle. Am I correct? Right angle triangle. This is 90 degree. And this angle is beta. OP line makes an angle y axis with beta. Am I correct? Now distance you know this is y. Am I correct? Now this we have taken R. OP is R. What is it cos theta? What is cos theta? My God. What is cos theta? O I O I upon R. What is O I? That is distance I am saying Y. The Y upon R. What I am putting? Sit up. Cos theta is Y upon R. What about cos alpha? Like this joint here. Again you will get right angle. Okay, cos beta is y upon r. What about cos alpha? X upon r. What about cos gamma? Z upon r. R is a magnitude. Am I correct? See, from this diagram, I am giving one note. Cos alpha equal to, what is cos alpha? Y by Cos alpha and our scale. X by r. Clear or not? What about cos beta? What about cos beta? Y by R. What about cos gamma? Z by R. Okay. Now, what is R you know about it? See, let me square in this cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma. So, that is equal to x square plus y square plus z square upon R square. Am I correct? What is x square plus y square plus z square? Yes. R square. R square. Correct. R square. Right now we have seen magnitude of OP. That is equal to under root of x square plus y square plus z square. OP is denoted by R. Now square P of R square equal to x square plus y square plus z square. Here keep the presence of mind. That is equal to R square upon R square. It becomes how much? One. So that is what is cos cos alpha. What is cos alpha? Yeah. So we are getting one of the most important result here that is L square plus N square plus N square equal to 1. How we are getting? 
So are you clear the same? So what is most important result? M square plus M square plus N square equal to 1. That is cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma equal to 1. Now I am telling here types of vector. Types of vector. See definition may be one more question. But I will try to understand the basic ideas. Now first of all zero vector. What is zero vector? It is denoted by or otherwise we say null vector. Null vector. This is denoted by like this. O. It is not a zero. This is O. O is 0i plus 0j plus it is denoted by 0i plus 0j plus 0k. Means a vector whose initial starting and terminal is the same. A vector whose yeah, whose initial and terminal points terminal terminal points are same. So that is magnitude of this vector is same. Magnitude of this vector is zero. Now unit vector. Unit vector. What is unit vector? See, unit means how much? What is unit? One. Unit means one. A vector whose magnitude is 1. A vector whose magnitude, magnitude means what? A vector whose magnitude is 1, that is called a vector. A vector whose magnitude, vector whose magnitude, whose magnitude is, magnitude is 1. That is called, we, we denote it, suppose, See, I told you this I cap, it is denoted by cap. Unit is always denoted by cap. So why we say cap? See what is magnitude of I cap? How to find magnitude? Coefficient of I square, coefficient of J square, plus coefficient of J square plus coefficient of J square. So what is coefficient of I cap? What is coefficient of I cap? One. Under root of 1 square, what do we get? One. What is magnitude of I cap? One. One. That's why we say unit vector. That is unit vector is denoted by I cap. See, this is vector. This is vector. And this is denoted by unit vector. A unit that is I cap. That is unit vector is denoted by I cap. Why we say unit vector? Whose magnitude is One. One. Clear to you? Clear? So now, that is, I will clear this thing. Clear. So that is, that is, a vector and again, in the direction of, in the direction of, a vector in the direction of a vector. A vector in the direction of a vector is denoted by a cap. That's why I will explain to you a cap equal to how can we find a vector upon magnitude of a vector. For example, see, that means how to find the unit vector, the vector upon its magnitude. Then only you will get it total magnitude is 1. For example, see a vector equal to, I am taking 2i uh, plus 3j uh, plus 2k. Okay, fine. Now find the unit vector. Kya question aega? Find the unit vector. Unit vector. Unit vector means magnitude is how much? 1. Now see, what is a cap formula saying? a vector upon magnitude of a vector. So that is equal to what is a vector? 2i plus 3j plus 2k. The whole up one, how to find magnitude? 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 9 plus 4. Okay, now that is a cap equal to 2i plus 3j plus 2k. The whole up one, under root 17, under root of 17. See, under root of 17. This way we can find the unit vector. If I take magnitude of a cap, it is a constant. Okay, under root of 17 is a constant. You take the magnitude of this. What is magnitude of this? What is magnitude of this? Why say 4 plus 9 plus 4? It will be cancelled. How much we will get? So we are getting magnitude of A cap is how much? That's why we say A vector is A cap is unit vector. So how to find the unit vector? Unit vector equal to that vector upon. Magnitude of given vector. Clear to you? So what is the unit vector? Now next to definition is so this this one is most important question. Maybe one or two more question they will ask to find the unit vector. So unit vector means formula. 
that vector upon plasma vector. Now next to co-initial vector. Co-initial vector. What is co-initial vector? That means whose initial point is the same. Two or more vectors. This is a P, Q, R, S like this. Two or more vectors having same initial point. Same initial point. Two or more vectors. More vectors having same initial having same initial point. That is called initial point. That is called co-initial. What is collinear? What is collinear vector? What is collinear vector? If two vectors are collinear, they are parallel to each other irrespective of direction and magnitude. Maybe this is 10 km, maybe this is 20 km. Direction is this one, direction is this side. So irrespective of direction and magnitude, but they must be parallel. So two or more vectors, two or more vectors are collinear, then they are they are parallel. They are parallel, but irrespective of irrespective of irrespective of magnitude, irrespective of magnitude and direction. Clear to you what I am saying? Yes. That means maybe this is 20 km, maybe this is 10 km, and direction is this side. Direction is this side. Irrespective of direction, irrespective of magnitude. But they must be parallel. So how can you say parallel? The ratio distance between these two lines always get That is called parallel. We say that is that is. I'm finishing the definition. If A vector and B vector are collinear, are collinear, then ratio collinear. Ratio between these ve these two vectors may be negative, may be positive, are always same. That is, we say A vector equal to lambda into B vector where lambda is a scalar, maybe 1 by 2 or otherwise whatever you get. Okay, fine. So anyhow, clear everybody? This is a basic concept of vectors. We have more definition that we will see in next class. Thank you so much.